Um, Stevie, I'm sure it's a strange time when the manager leaves. How's the mood been in the dressing room since Paul Hepton Bottom left? Um, like, like any manager going, the mood's never great at the start because at the end of the day, a, a man loses his job too. Sorry, the assistant as well, Robbie. So, um, it's never great. Um, you have to pick yourself up like the, the coaches did, like Granty and that who um, were stayed here, they kind of just kept us together, same with Eddie, for the last game as well. So um, you just have to kind of go and put yourself up and look forward to the next game and just wait and see who the new manager is. I spoke to Ryan Porches in the last international break, not the one that's just gone, but the one before that, right. and he said, blame the players, not the manager. Is there sort of an element of guilt when a, when a manager loses his job? Right? 100%. Um, the manager can put out any tactics, any team, but it's, first and foremost, it's up to the players to perform in the park, and we were the ones that weren't performing. So, yeah, hundred percent, every every player in there will feel guilty, and still do because a, 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 a man did lose his job, and and we were part of that, not just um, the manager. So, I think at any any club, any player would feel the same when. Um, your manager um, loses, and I've been through quite a few managers now in my career, and it is never, it doesn't get any easier because you try your hardest for that that manager, and obviously it just didn't work out. Of course, you feel upset for, for the people who lose their job, but did you feel that a change was needed just to freshen things up a bit? Um, no, I think I felt like what we're doing on the pitch and stuff, um, training, it was all, it was all there. We were working hard. It was just the results that weren't coming our way, and we were just hoping for that kind of. That game, it just flipped it, and obviously the game we kind of looked for that to happen and end up being St Johnston when Eddie took over. So that makes you feel even probably even worse because it was the same players, the same kind of team we kind of put out the previous manager did, and you just wish you'd done that for him because if you'd done it for him, he might have still been in a job. You know, no one ever, no, you'll never know that. But um, yeah, it was performances like that we wish that we'd done for that manager and wish we'd done it sooner. Jack, try to speak to you before taking the job here. Did he, did he seek your advice? Or, or no, to be honest, I never spoke. Um, I've not spoke to him in a, a, a while, to be fair. Um, I think I congratulated him when he first got his kind of Sunderland job and um, see how he was down there, but I've not spoke to him in a little while. So when it kind of flared up that um, he was getting the job, that uh, obviously for me working with him before, I, I, felt, I felt it was probably the right choice. Um, they kind of, he kind of came in about the same time as they did here, than they did at St Mirren, and I, f I thought it was going to be like a no-brainer for him to come in. So um, now that he's here, I'm obviously kind of delighted that he's here because I've worked with him before, and um, I've got a knack of working with previous managers now. So yeah, I'm, ho I'm hoping that he does here, come here and emulates what he did at St Mirren, if not better. I've had a few sessions, but does it feel like he's changed a little bit? Is, is, is he different to what, what you had at St Mirren? Um, to be honest, I've just done a few sessions with him there, and it, some of it is still the same. He did it at St Mirren, I'm guessing he's done the same at Sunderland. The only change is, is obviously, uh, Potsy it's in. I had James Fowler at St Mirren, so I've not really worked with Potsy before, so that's a bit different. But um, now nah, he's still the same kind of wise cracker as a manager, and I, I, I do get on him really well. I've got a bit of kind of banter with him, so. I hope that kind of continues, and um, I'm pretty sure all the boys will take them. You mentioned the, the stage that he came in at, at St Mirren, and, yep. and the turnaround there was was quite amazing. What, what was it? Could you put your finger on that, that really clicked and, and really changed around the, the, the fortunes there? Um, obviously, when when he took over at St Mirren, it was a it was a harder task than he's got there now. We were I'd say 10, 11 points at the bottom of the table. Obviously, we're only at a handful of points off kind of third, fourth place here, so it's a an easier task. But um, when he first came into St Mirren, it was just a change. Um, it, it kind of lifted everyone's spirits when he came in. Him and Fow, um, obviously training change, stuff like that, and it made it enjoyable. Even like one thing I've always said is the boys that hardly played at St Mirren still loved coming into train because when you're not playing, it's a it's a hard place to be in, um, and even the boys that were like kind of subs more speaks they renewed your co re they renewed their contracts for the following year when they won the when they won the cut uh, the league sorry and it's just a, it was just an enjoyable manager to play for and I think we had a good kind of close net of players he ended up bringing his own players in in the January I'm sure I think he got out, I think it was maybe get rid of ten brought in nine players and that was a major change as well 
and that's always a big risk as a manager. And, um, the boys that he brought in, they, we all gelled really quickly and done really well. How enjoyable is it to play? You know, the, the style that he likes to play under him is it the sort of thing that, that really suits you, suits your game? Yeah, the boys that he brought in all kind of. He brought in players that suited that formation that he played. Um, he might have changed by now. Now I don't know, but I, I can only go off my time at St Mirren. And um, yeah, we did. We done really well. The kind of run we went on, um, especially when we were in the league, it was a lot of pressure. Every every game was a cup game, and that, I think that's one thing he, he kind of done when he first came in. We all sat down and we went through every game. We sat down in groups, went through every game. Um, every player. Picked the game where they wanted the points from, and we had a, so we had a kind of task going ahead, and it was just about us going and performing that task. And I think because we outlined what we wanted for the rest of the season, then I've got into every game. It was like a cup game, and knew exactly what we needed: three points, or like going away to Hibs or Dundee United that wanted at least a draw, stuff like that. So um, I think all the all the boys um, bought into his kind of thing really early, and I think that's what helped. Was there a rumour that you wanted to sign you last summer before you, you came here for Sunderland? Was there any, any discussion there? Uh, no, there was definitely not a discussion there. I, I've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter on that, but um, no, nah, there wasn't a discussion. Um, like I said, I never um, when I signed for Hibs, that, that was kind of the only club that we kind of came in for me and one club I pushed for, so well, I'm glad I made that decision. <laughs> Safe, fake, in fact, working with another previous manager. I know, all the boys have said that when obviously when Hecky first came in, they were all asking me questions, and now that Jack's came in, so it's, it's, it's like I kind of repeat all asking me the questions again. But both managers have always been great, and um, obviously Jack coming in now, it's going to be a positive. Yeah, exciting just to kind of, it'll be, it will feel like a fresh start Saturday, won't it? Yeah, when any new face come in, it's always going to be a fresh, a fresh start because they bring in their own ideas. Um, training's already differed the past few days with a new manager coming in, so. And the most important thing is all the boys want to impress, for the boys not playing, for the boys that have been playing, it's like square one again because it's how you perform in training is going to get you in that part on a Saturday and the managers coming to your fresh faces and it's whoever will train the best and do the best in training will get that game on a Saturday.